Everyone always, of course, wants to have the yard of envy in their neighborhood. And every month, our friend Perry from Classic Landscape and Ellerslie Gift and Garden drops by with some great tips and tricks and, I mean, amazing varieties of plants. So, uh, Perry, thank you very much for joining us once again. And uh, let's start with the very colorful elephant in the room, the Canada Day flowers. Yeah, obviously Canada is the next big holiday it coming is. up here as we're getting to the middle of June and, and red and white obviously being the main colors mm -hmm. of our uh, flag. And, and so it's a, it's a great opportunity to sort of, maybe you're looking around your yard, you want to spruce it up a bit. You know, it's, things are looking okay, but you want to add a little pop. Maybe you're going to be entertaining friends and family on that uh, mm -hmm. holiday weekend. And so it's a good opportunity with, uh, you know, selection still available out there to, uh, you know, grab some very patriotic flowers and add them to the yard as well. Very nice. And I see you've got them as a hanging basket here as well. With the Oop, a little chain. <laughs> Yeah, hanging baskets are, are still very popular and obviously just really easy because it's, you know, you grab and carry and it's good to go. You don't have to worry about planting flowers and stuff. I mean, you know, obviously we, we got past the May long weekend a little bit, which is traditional, you know, planting weekend. But there, there is still time if people want to be planting their own stuff as well. Fantastic. And on the note of planting stuff, you've got some activities for kids. School's coming to an end, but parents might be looking for something for their kids to uh, maybe try out now that they've got a little more free time. Yeah, for sure. I mean, there's a lot of things and, and a lot of times, not just activities for the kids, but there is a joy and excitement in planting something that yes, you can see absolutely, grow. absolutely, yeah. Right? And not even just the activity itself. Getting your hands dirty is mm -hmm. a good thing. Um, you know, science shows actually that when you physically are touching the dirt, you know, hormones and things reduce stress levels. So all these things are actually nice. very positive. Not even withstanding active kids that your teachers aren't taking care of for you anymore <laughs> and so you have to go. But, you know, potatoes are a really cool one because they're really easy to plant and grow. I brought a few selections here. Um, you know, some are actually purple. The Purple Magic's one of my favorite, has kind of a, a unique sort of purple white uh, uh, heart of the potato. Oh, yeah. Really interesting kind of different, so it's kind of fun. And not that, uh, you know, a typical colored potato isn't as much fun as purple, but it is something that is unique and adds something different. Uh, you know, you can use them in cooking in, in the same way. Um, the one thing to consider, though, with potatoes, too, is it's really, we're kind of getting to that time where you need to be planting them if you're going to harvest them. Uh, typically speaking, um, you know, we have mid or early season potatoes. So the couple of purple varieties I have, the rosemary and the purple magic, they'd be what we call mid-season. So typically harvesting, you know, that 90-day range, okay. 90 to 95 days. Um, the gold eye is a great uh, sort of cooking, sauteing potato. Mm -hmm. um, and the snow finger is kind of fun because as it sounds, it looks like little fingers. Mm -hmm. They're an early season potato, so they'll take about 80 days, so a couple weeks less. So okay. if we do the math right now, typically later August for those varieties, and the mid-season ones will become into early September, which is still fine, a mm -hmm. good return to school activity. Yeah. Um, but again, now is the time to start getting them in the ground. And a lot of times people consider that, uh, you know, they ha I don't have a garden, I can't do potatoes. But you can grow potatoes in very successfully in a pot, very successfully in a pot. Yeah. It's great, you know, if it's an activity for kids, hey, older kids can do it too. Well, but and kids also love cooking, right? And to say, hey, look, I've grown these potatoes, now let's cook them at the end of the summer. 100%, and, and uh, you know, it's, it's, it is more special. Again, mm -hmm. it gives them something to do. It's something interesting and unique and, and an activity they can all love. You did mention that uh, these growing periods are sort of 80 to 90 days, depending on the variety, and to that point, you've also got uh, tomatoes and sunflowers, which I understand are sort of the same time frame. I know a lot of people like to get things in the ground around May long, but you can still get stuff in the ground, even though it's a little bit later. Yeah, I mean, there's a couple options. Obviously, uh, there's lots of tomatoes available that have already been grown. And so this is a, a terrazzo variety uh, just off to my right. And the terrazzo is really cool because it's uh, sort of a trailing tomato. It will stay sort of great in a hanging basket or a container. Again, you can plant in the garden mm -hmm. if you want. But as a plant that's already been growing for a while, yep. you can sort of jump the queue in terms of seeds. Uh, sunflowers I bring because, again, the theme, they're just a fun plant. Oh, 100%. But again, you know, that 80 to 90 day range before they're blooming. And so, again, you can get ones that are already potted and started growing. Or if you do want to do the seed again, you're just going to be looking towards the end of August, early September before they're going to bloom. And they'll offer, you know, sunflower seeds for the birds and all this will be very popular mm -hmm. in the fall. Um, but again, you know, we have time now, but you're going to want to get on in the next couple weeks. Well, 100 percent. And, you know, it's you go around gardens in the fall, right? People want things that sort of bloom throughout the entire summer. So you've got things that go early, things that go midsummer, things that go later in the summer. And uh, always, I think, a part of the uh, staple for, you know, late summer as we get sort of more into October, late September uh, for Halloween. Yeah, there's no question that's a big part of it, because a lot of times, even in the landscape design side of things, we do, like you said, sort of schedule plantings. And so that you get sort of that impact all summer long. And, you know, at the end of the day, we're talking about 
things that are going to bring you a little bit of joy. Mm -hmm. We talked about reducing stress levels. Um, they're relatively easy to take care of. All, you know, all these varieties are something that's going to like full sun, well-drained soil. So even in drier conditions we're having, you know, that's not a big deal. Yep. You just want to make sure you water them as you need to. Um, you know, same thing with uh, potatoes. The yep. one thing that you want to consider for all of these, though, is fertilization is really important. Yep. And so using an all-purpose fertilizer, especially on potatoes, uh, tomato food, all these kinds of things, especially with calcium for tomatoes, will help produce higher yields, healthier plants, and of course, you're going to be more successful all around. Fantastic. Thank you very much for right. the gardening tips. And of course, for more great ideas on how you can check out Classic Landscaping and Ellerslie Gift and Garden, they are located at 100th Street and 6th Avenue. For more info, call 780-988-9888 or visit them online at classicgardens.ca. You can also follow them through their Twitter handle, Classic Landscape SCP.